One moment, just trying to get the tweet out for the stream. All right, there we go. I think that went through. Hey folks, this is uh, Jennifer Uncle for Scanline Media, and uh, I've been looking forward to today because uh, today we're finally getting another Frogwares uh, Sherlock Holmes game called Sherlock Holmes Chapter One. Um, Frogwares has had a bit of a history with this license, like, uh, well, with Sherlock Holmes games in general. Like, they've done everything, like, from Sherlock Holmes versus Jack the Ripper to Sherlock Holmes versus Cthulhu versus. And they've just done a bunch of Sherlock games over the past 20 years or so, but this is the first time they've been doing it without being attached to any sort of uh, publisher. Because they've had a bad... they've had a history of bad publishers. So, yeah, I'm really excited to see what this what's up with this one. It seems like it might be an open world game of sorts, but uh, we'll find out shortly. Okay. Ask the receptionist about my room. So yeah, we're hopping right in. Made sure that uh, subtitles are on, and uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. By the way, let me know if the audio mixes off or anything like that. Ginger, that's what you need. A mouthful of the good stuff and you'll see the back of any seasick place. Thank you for your support, John. Don't suppose you actually brought any ginger? No, I don't get seasick. Terrific. Don't worry, Sherry. We've almost arrived at Cordona. I can see land through the porthole. So much for docking by tea time. The captain seemed more interested in his maids than in his maps. Oh, he sure looked grumpy. Cheer up. We're back where we grew up. It's exciting. What's changed? What's the same? Oh, I'm starting to question whether the week's long journey was worth it. Traveling all this way, enduring this indignity simply to visit a grave. Even if it is my mother's. Ah, that's just Mycroft's nonsense still rattling around in your head. Try to forget what he said. I have. I believe it was that this is a performative farce, a feeble excuse to avoid responsibilities, and that there was nothing to be gained from it. You needed to do this. Enough of the self-pity and doubt. So we're a little late. What of it? We'll retire to the hotel and visit her in the morning. It'll be worth it. Thank you, John. And if you want to notify the captain's wife of his indiscretions, I will not stand in your way. Ah, <laughs> oh, at last. I am Sherlock Holmes, ultimate tattletale. Come on. We'll go together. So, if this John is childhood friends with Sherlock, this can't be John Watson, right? Because they meet later, much later than this. Assuming they are childhood friends and not brothers, but we'll see. You could use tobacco to disorient your enemies? Okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Hey, Sherry. Come on. Catch up. Oof, this yes, is... Yes. This is running a little bit rough. Let me see if I can go into the settings for a moment and lower things a tad. So there's high, highest, and epic. That's 
I feel like if you're gonna have highest and high, just stick to one or the other, not both. Okay. Let's see if setting everything to medium makes things run better. Uh, it's improved a little bit. Okay, I can live with that. Sherlock, don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. Yeah, you're just you're st just standing here, buddy. Are we gonna? Are we gonna be moving? I guess I can go Welcome up here. Welcome to Il Palazzo Deluso, sir. If you need something, sir, please inquire at reception. Welcome to Il Palazzo di Lusso, sir. We just need your signature. There you are. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Uh, yes, we have room 221 prepared for you. I see it was reserved for two people. Uh, would you like a second key? Oh, uh, no, I, I think we'll stick together. Very good. Rooms are upstairs, sir. Welcome to Cordona. Oh, that's a bore. I want to see our room. I want to have a balcony. Hurry up, Sherlock. I want to yeah. see our room. Are you gonna... I want to have a balcony with a view. You're not gonna walk up with me? Okay. Now, important question. Is there a sprint... Oh! <laughs> the left bumper does a detective view. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Right bumper is the detective view. Hmm. Okay. I guess I can just hold down the right bumper to get a feel on anyone here. Greek maid as a knitter friendly. Walsh tourist, avid believer, affable. Okay. Greek actor, pyromaniac, aff also affable. Well, I'm happy to meet a affable pyromaniac if you ever want to I feel like if I saw an affable pyromaniac, that'd be the first person I would talk to, just out of curiosity. But that's just me. Those are the sharp eyes of a man with a bright mind. Almost like mine. Hmm? Who was that? In here? Nope. Okay, right trigger is sprint. There we go. Binomial theorem. I guess we're gonna take that letter and maybe return it to someone. Maybe not. We'll see. I, I've, I've been in this hotel for a minute and I already feel lost, which is not the best sign. But it's whatever. Would you like a drink, sir? Is there like a waypoint I can use here? Case book. Room 221. Upstairs, so I clearly just need to keep walking around here. There's the rooms, okay. Apologize, sir, but your room is not yet ready. Perhaps in the meantime you would like to relax in the foyer? Okay. Tonight the restaurant is offering a complimentary Marlin ceviche to all our guests. Let's check what they have on offer. All right. If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. Hey, Sherry, just our luck. He sure teleports around a lot like the Sherlock Holmes from the other Frogwares games. Hey, Sherry. Just our luck. The medium, John. Haven't we been through this already? Come on, it's not like we've got anything better to do. All right, things are finally happening. Excuse me, sir, but I believe Mr. Galici is conducting a seance at the moment. Perhaps you'd care to have your portrait drawn while you wait? Why? Pardon me? Why should I sit for a portrait? I... Sir, it's art. It doesn't need a why. It is its own justification. 
All things require justification, be they objects, systems, or beliefs. How about art as the lens through which we see the Sherlock Holmes, fun at parties. That's backward. Truth is not subjective and not complicated. It's just the truth. It either is or it isn't. You do not need a lens to see it, just an open mind. Ha! Huh. That seems rather close minded. Truth, like beauty, is in the eye of the beholder. So tell me, what do you see? Mediocrity. Damn, dude. <laughs> okay. Come now, Sherry. What did he do to deserve that? The servant mentioned ceviche at a bar, Sherry. You should grab us some, and I'll find us a table. I'm starving. I'm starting to suspect this guy isn't actually here. Like, the way that he's just not interacting with anyone else or not even being addressed by anyone else. But I guess we'll see. Okay, time to check if John found us a nice table to be in. See, like, he was just standing on this pole, and then I grabbed this, and then suddenly he disappeared. Now he's over here. Shall I'm he calling it. Here with my new Ursine companion. He is not actually here. What are you waiting for? Put the dish down so we can tuck in. Cordon is even quieter than I remembered. It's going to be a long evening. Oh, come now, Sherry. <laughs> hey, Kiri. Yes, Scary Watson has a reputation in the Sherlock game fan base. What were you thinking? Oh, promise me it isn't nonsense. After being cooped up on that boat, I am itching for activity. Oh, as you can see, someone left a cane on our table. I simply thought you could identify its owner. Ah, so it is nonsense. It will take me a minute, John, at most. Well, then, we can deliver it to him as well. Deliver it to him. <laughs> then what are the staff here for? Aesthetics? Stubborn, Sherry. Too stubborn. You wanted something to do. <laughs> Slapping oneself in the face is also something to do. That doesn't make it worthwhile. But all right. Let me take a look. God, this guy is insufferable. I guess later on in this game, he'll either become less insufferable or it'll just continue with him being like that because... Look, Sherlock can be kind of in several world times, but we'll see. The cane is made of ebony. It's worn uncared for and bears the scars of numerous hits. A crest depicting a bulb of garlic in a meadow. Perhaps the Fielding family or meadows. Or Craven from the old English name meaning garlic place. The hand grip is a head of a golden Javanese statue probably stolen from the temple. The dents suggest it has been used as a bludgeon. This cane is an expensive and ostentatious weapon. Its owner must be vain, volatile, and of noble English blood. Take it with you, Sherry. Let's return it to its owner. All right, I hope you noted down your observations in your casebook. But how are you gonna find this nobleman? The cane itself is not enough. I may have to ask other guests if they saw who was here. Okay, so you have to pin the evidence first before you can ask someone about it. Let's take care of that then. How do we... Okay, the lost cane. I just hit X on this then. There we go. I'm gonna ask the bartender. Bartender's an observant. Would you like a drink, sir? Okay. Can't ask him, apparently. May I ask for your assistance? I can ask her, though. Stop me when you've had enough. There were three people at the table, a couple, and a retired Navy officer. Observers weren't sure what happened to the couple, but the Navy officer was seen going out to the front garden for some air. Well, even with your keen senses, Sherry, I doubt you'll find the cane's owner on your first try. <laughs> and... Would you be confident enough to bet on it, my friend? Why not? Let's see how good you really are. Okay. Front garden. Let's see if I can find that without much trouble. Okay.
Greek pharmacist. Feed stray animals. Retired military officer. Though he's friendly, so... I can't imagine the person who was hitting people with a cane would be all that friendly. Can't observe this person. Oh, there we go. Come on. Oh, there we go. Has a pug affable. Definitely not him. Okay. Let's try... This guy. Cologne. Okay, Cordonian bureaucrat. Sympathetic. I'm gonna try the guy who seems affable just to see what happens. Dear fellow, you're talking to the right man. The Navy officer, Mr. Rhodes, was sitting at our table with the noble couple. The men talked about yachting, and the lady was fidgeting with her cane. Perhaps she put it aside and her husband forgot to take it when they went to meet the medium. Okay, so we have to go to the seance hey, then. Sherry, don't we now have the perfect excuse to do the seance? <laughs> I'm just going to give the cane to its owner. You will not persuade me to take part in this show. Okay. Hey, Six. <laughs> Thank you for your contribution, Six. <laughs> Appreciate it. Okay. Is the seance up this way? Where were they holding the seance? Let me double check that. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Ex excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know. Wait, can I not go there yet? Okay, I have to go to the seance room somehow. Wherever it is. Oh, that's where the music's coming from. It was actually diegetic. Okay, that's kind of cool. I hope when I'm actually solving mysteries, they will just appear out of nowhere to offer diegetic music as well. Can I ask you a question? Apologies, sir, but I'd never heard of it. Okay, how do I get into the seance room? If that's not the room. I am already lost. Hmm. Wait, I thought this was, oh, this is John Watson's diary. Okay, or whoever this John is. This mysterious John. Okay. I have to... Maybe sit back down? No. Would you like a drink, sir? What am I supposed to do? Okay. Mind palace, yeah. <laughs> right now it's just a mother's love with no clues. I forget whether they started using the words mind palace before or after the BBC show. Because it was like in Crimes and Punishments and... That was, like, my favorite of the Sherlock games. I have no idea where the seance room is. 
Oh god, I hope this rest of this stream isn't me just wandering around blindly to try and find the seance room, because that would be frustrating. It's gotta be around here. Oh, right, of course. It's over here at the little table. Come on, if you hurry, perhaps we'll see the ghost. <laughs> John's eager to see a ghost. Honestly, so am I. This hotel, this island, it's full of thieves. First my cane, now the diamond. Take your hands off me! You even know I What am? is happening here? Hey boy, that's my cane! I get that a lot, it's a very common design. What? No, that's a custom made! A joke, a joke. It was left at my table in the restaurant. I thought it deserved to be returned. Wow, this is well, a sassy Sherlock. It is rare to encounter a straight-fingered true penny these days. What a gentleman. But I must ask, how did you know I was the rightful owner? All right, time to do some zooming. Okay, let's see. I have two different options here. I can claim that he's a bored big English nobleman or an ill Englishman on resort. Lord Craven. So this one is like, Lord face indicates he has problems with alcohol. He is still physically strong and healthy, but in a few years' time he'll be wretched. Anger issues. Violent person. Red Knuckles has definitely beaten someone with a cane, so I'm going to say it's that instead of Ill English Mountain Resort. So we'll go with board British nobleman. Oh, I have to hold it. All right, let's see how accurate this is, I guess. Simple deduction. Your cane told me everything I needed to know. I was after a strong middle-aged man with a keen interest in adventure, noble blood, and affection for strong drink. And if one were to go further, one may even be able to extrapolate your name from your heraldic symbol. Lord Craven. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. That's me, Lord Andrew Craven. You are the real medium. You hear that, Emma? You're got well, it in you one. My cane. Perhaps you can locate my diamond, too. Yes, you should do it. It will be child's play for you, Mr. Holmes. And if a child can do it, then I'm sure the local police can suffice. The police? Why bother? I know this Harlequin stole it. The only question is, where is it hidden? Fine, give me my stick and I'll resolve the matter myself. This thief almost confessed after a single punch. Hmm. I suspect a beating may result in answers of questionable veracity. Fine, I shall spare you and he the trouble if you first answer me this. Okay. What happened in the seance? You insist the medium robbed you during the seance. But what occurred exactly? Ah, it was a dirty trick. We were sitting here in the dark, chanting and holding hands as expected. Then something began to appear from the medium, like a, a cloud or a bubble. The swindler called it ectoplasm. Ah, yes, common in the spiritualist trade and quite the spectacle. Indeed, perhaps too much. My beloved Emma screamed in horror, and I stood to defend her, attacking that cursed ghost. How brave. But my hand hit nothing. The medium jumped away from me, and Emma fainted. I lit the candle, and the diamond was gone. 
Ghost Hunter, Drunk Old English Gentleman edition. How does a priceless diamond become the subject of a seance? It is an unusual accoutrement. Emma wished to speak with its former owners. My grandfather told us it belonged to a Raja, an Indian king. So you were summoning long dead Indian royalty and, pray tell, you were expecting him to converse in English? To be frank, Mr. Holmes, I don't believe in ghosts. But Emma was fascinated by the idea of meeting a real king, even a dead one. Well, a crown is a crown. Can you describe the stone itself? A yellow diamond, not less than a hundred carats, and perfectly egg-shaped. There is not another like it. Stay here, and don't touch anything. I'm going to investigate further. Don't fret, I'll be keeping a close eye on this thief. Oh. Press LB and it recharges. Okay, gonna check out this ectoplasm first, I guess. Or at least I was planning on. There we go. Okay. It helpfully tells me how many things I can examine. The diamond was placed on the table so that all participants could reach it. Half a glass of foul blair scotch and the remains of a poor Laranaga cigar. What else does a gentleman need? There are light traces of rouge on the edge of this wine glass. Hmm. Okay. I'm collecting all these mind palace clues. This must be the ectoplasm. Too bad there's not enough for a proper chemical analysis. Ectoplasm. The ghost was here, Sherry. What else can I look at now? Hmm. Oh, jacket, of course. This brooch is old and cheap, but the moth design has its charm. Guess I'll keep looking around, see what I can find. What happened here? I don't know. Okay, yeah, John is absolutely an invisible friend. Lord the lady screamed and pointed at Lord Craven, and there was a shadow. Such a mystical force. It terrified the lady. And it must have taken the diamond. And who else could have? Do you feel the presence of any supernatural entities at the moment? Are you joking, sir? My nose is broken. This maniac wants to kill me, and you're asking about the spirits? I suppose this can wait. I will investigate, and the culprit will be identified. But this stubborn brute, Lord Craven, blames me right now. As if I could do something like that. But perhaps you can reason with him? Please? Well, it seems like you're ready to delve into your mind palace, Sherry. <laughs> I'm sure you'll make some good deductions. Ah, yes. Delve into a mind palace. Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. Find the stone, Mr. Holmes, and quickly. Can I talk to you? Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing, barely conscious. Feebleness of brain. <laughs> Oh, really God. Sorry. Sherlock. <laughs> it's like that bit. <laughs> it's like that bit in that Lupin the Third dub where Jigen yells, My misogyny knows no bounds. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I can combine clues here to make deductions then. Does that combine into anything? 
something. Okay. There was someone in the courtyard during the seance. So, let's check that out. It seems there may have been an unexpected visitor outside the window. Oh, I hope it was the ghost of the Raja. See who was over here. Oh, a heel. Okay. This looks recent. A shoe with a broken heel will surely leave scratches. All right, John. Do you think a ghost could leave this footprint? I'm reserving judgment. Use your keen eye to follow the trail. I guess I have to try and pin the heel here. Oh, something vibrated. Almost. Oh. Okay. Feel like it's guiding me to look in a specific location, but oh, there we go. It's giving me a trail or something. Don't mind me. I'm just following the ghost paths in my detective vision here. Oh, there's the heel. Size four with a broken heel. Most of more. All the maids in the hotel wear this exact shoe. So definitely not the ghost of a Raja. Unless... No. What a shame. Our witness was a nosy maid. Hmm. Searching the entire hotel could be difficult. Perhaps the other maids can help us find her. This reminds me of the fairy tale, Sherry. Did you find your princess? Okay, let's go look for a maid then. Oh, here's a maid. Could you help me? Hmm, you look like an honorable man. I have some information for you. The staff said that Lucia got a scolding from the chief steward for wearing common shoes at work. She should be upstairs near the picture. She should be cleaning near the pictures upstairs now. Okay. Up to the pictures we go. Near the pictures, so over here. Hmm. Not sure where to look. I'll just keep looking around for People near paintings, I guess. Can I ask you a question? Please, don't get angry, sir. But I know nothing about this, I swear to you. Okay. A little bit far away from the pictures. That's fine. We'll keep looking. Oh, here we go. Here you are. Finally, there you are. One would think a maid would be easy to find in this place. I'm, I I'm sorry, sir. Do you need more towels? No, no. You are the maid who saw the ghost in the seance room, yes? How did you know? Simple. You changed shoes after breaking a heel while fleeing the scene. I'm sorry, sir, but if I may ask, who are you? I'm a novelist documenting the supernatural and those who witness it now. Should you take a starring role in the tale, I will need your name. Oh my. A book? And you want to include me? I'm Lucia. Lucia Saleta. Something went wrong during the seance, Lucia, but no one will tell me what happened. You would be a valuable interview if you were there. I was. And I saw everything with my own eyes. 
Describe what happened during the seance. Oh, a lady and two gentlemen were sitting at a table, touching their hands to something. The medium started to whisper and, and chant, and a ghost appeared. A ghost? You're confident? It was unearthly, sir. It grew from the medium's chest. A glowing cloud or a, a bubble. I pressed closer against the window to see better. And the lady saw you? How did she? Yes. She screamed and pointed, so I hurried to escape, and I broke my heel. But I did see the ghost. A sickly evil. And that's all you can tell me? Did you see any of what happened next? Mm -hmm. the, the medium, Mr. Galici, he was doing something with the ghost. He grabbed at it like he was trying to catch it. And then I ran. Okay. I suppose I should be grateful you endured these horrors for such a long time. All right. I have your account memorized. Good day. You lied to the poor girl, Sherry. What a tease. She'll dream about being a character of that book. <laughs> Surely a pleasant dream is better than no dream at all, John. Oh, let's get back to the crime scene. I always love seeing you explain simple things to simpletons. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can actually resolve something now. Assuming I need to go back into my mind palace and uh, put things together. Lady Craven retired to her room to rest. Lord Craven remained here until the staff reported that the medium was locked in his room. Interact with the node to begin. How do I... Oh, okay, interact there. <laughs> here we go. Just gonna sit on the ground and figure shit out. Oh, I'm controlling John to do it, okay. Seance participants in their correct locations. Okay, I believe that was her, yes, because she pointed the person outside. Since the guy who was hit was over here, I'm assuming... Yes, I believe that is the configuration here. Well, let's just double check. It all began when the lady screamed and pointed at the window. Lord Craven jumped up, ready to face anything, ghost or human. The medium shrank back in dismay. He was not expecting such a reaction and had to quickly hide the ghost. The lady was the only one left touching the diamond, at least until she fainted. Hmm. Amazing. It's like you saw it with your own eyes, sir. Oh, I forgot that you were here. I <laughs> guess I should discuss all of this with Lady Craven. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suites. If the lady was touching a diamond, then she would have felt the ghost take it. What do you think it felt like, Sherry? A jellyfish? 99% positive that the lady took the diamond. Let's go to the room to find out, though. 226 will be over here. Lady Craven's not... Oh, I got too close. Will I start talking if I get a little further away? Lady Craven there we go. Not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall? Okay. Hmm. Oh, did I mess that up? 
Okay. Can I try that again? Lady Craven's not who she's <laughs> Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> okay, I missed a clue. Let's try that again. This is a weird mechanic. I assume I'll get too used to it then, in time. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I overheard two staff members talking about Lady Craven. They gossip that the woman may not be the wife of Lord Craven. By their observation, she was on the lookout during the evening while trying to get Lord Craven drunk. They also noticed that the lady was unsure how to properly use a fish knife. I don't know how that has anything to do with being the wife of a lord, but I guess we'll find out. happen here oh dear okay you're here at last i didn't do that i swear i found her this way i'm sure well, i did have some questions for her but it seems i've arrived too late now it's a matter for the police mr holmes you said it yourself they're children they'll only make things worse you you promised me you would investigate investigate a theft not a murder fear not i will tell them all i've uncovered please help me will surely accuse me of Emma's death. You were the only one who can find the truth. Huh. Fine, but only because it's slightly more interesting than the walls of my room. <laughs> Tell me what happened. Look, after you left, I waited in the seance room until the servants locked up Mr. Galici the medium. And was your mistress there too? Oh, so you... you know? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Regardless, the staff took Emma to her room. She was still feeling dizzy. So you didn't follow her. Interesting. Is Mr. Galici still being held? And where did the servants secure him? He's in room 225. But that pigeon livered man at the reception desk refused to give me the key. Well, I will have to visit reception myself then. Perhaps he will listen to reason. <laughs> where did you go instead? To the bar. It had been almost an hour. I see. And how long did you stay? I partook of a well-earned whiskey or two before retiring upstairs. Ask anyone there. Now we arrive at the tragedy at hand. So what transpired after your detour to the bar? I headed up to my room to find Emma on the bed. I didn't pay her much attention at first. I was still preoccupied with that damned medium. But when I realized she was silent, I drew closer. That's a hell of a thing to overlook. discovered she was dead. Okay. What's more, the diamond lay right there beside her. Oh, well, that is splendid news. Splendid? The return of the diamond will be cold comfort if I live out my days in a jail cell. You must help me. Let me see what I can find. Tell me how it passed. You already have yourself a murder mystery, Sherlock. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Murder follows me wherever I go. In the world of Sherlock Holmes. This must be the missing diamond. A tremendous specimen, now forever tainted. Okay. Everything was tipped out of the bed as if it was searched. Strangled with bare hands, judging by the bruises. I think she stole the stone. It's certainly possible. But we won't get her confession now. Well, there is a professional medium right next door. A remarkably simple lock. Hmm. I bet I could maybe pick that if I need to get in. Guess we need to treat this crime scene seriously now that 
An actual dead person is here. Uh -huh. A neat hiding place. Why would she conceal all of this? Several thousand pounds, that's quite a fortune. Hmm. This ring looks out of place among the others, and the design is familiar. Hmm. Okay. Virtus Audactus Abbott. Courage tastes bold. A unique family motto. What else on this box can I look at? I feel like this broken necklace would be of significance, but apparently not. Oh, there we go. It's not in the box at all. Fard Rouge Calamel Mascara, a real altar of beauty for the traveling temptress. Misty beacons. A victim with a checkered past. And poor taste. <laughs> Alright, what else can we take a look at in here? Can we investigate the steamer trunk? Nope. Not letting me touch it. Okay. Let's try and get into that other room then. All oh, right, I need to go downstairs to get the key. If they'll give me the key, we'll see. You know, I am playing with a lot of settings turned down, but this is a very nice looking game for a studio like Frogware size, I'd say. Give me the key to Luca Galici's room. I need to talk to him about the events of the seance. I suppose you are an impartial outsider. All right, but please do not give it to Lord Craven. We do not want to see our reputation damaged further. Awkward. I still don't know what a nasty surprise awaits upstairs. Hush. No need to cause another ruckus. Last thing we want is the police to come meddling. Oh, you want to see a goth outfit, Kyrie? I don't know if I have the option to change it to it here, but, uh... Oh, yeah, I guess I don't have an option to change it into it here, but, uh, I unlocked a vampire outfit for pre-ordering the game. <laughs> I guess we'll find out if I can get access to it once I finally have access to my room, but we'll see. I'm afraid I can wait no longer to hear your account of the seance, Mr. Galici, so please tell me what you saw. Lady Craven wanted to meet the spirit of the Rack. My conjuration was successful. Perhaps even too successful. I am sure this spirit was the only one who could have taken the diamond. Lord Craven needs to leave me alone. Do you think the police will believe you? Of course. I didn't take anything. And spiritual phenomena are beyond their control. Or should I summon the ghost again so they may attempt to handcuff it? I think I would prefer to begin my investigation in the physical realm. All right, time to take a look at this guy. Thin, elongated fingers. Use a lot of makeup. Yeah, of course, because he got hit with a chair. That makes sense. Oh, scratch marks. Hmm. I have to decide this now. Hmm. 
honestly can't tell which one is the better fit. Because I feel like he's hiding something, but it could just be like the tricks he uses to pull off the medium abilities. I guess it would be kind of weird to like put makeup right in the back of your neck right that like that to hide malnourishment. Hmm. I'm going to go former thief see what happens. I have shocking news that changes your situation entirely. Oh, no, wait. What am I thinking? The spirits will have told you this already. I'm not in the necessary state for summary. The spirits prefer clarity of mind and soul. Please. Oh, he thinks Maybe he knows. Raven died in the very next room while you were in here. I'm just going to say you next. Hear anything? We'll see. What? How? Oh, what? I did hear noises. That craven is a very loud man. But I never thought he would do that to his wife. Well, you claim to be a medium. Perhaps you could ask her spirit why. What? No, it's uh, too dangerous. Oh well, at least I can make the dead talk. Those scratches on your hands look rather painful. What happened to you? It was those savage servants. They were so rough bringing me here as if I was trying to escape. When I'm no, out, demand no, no, no. That sounds too suspicious. The spirits are silent. And so am I. Oh, I can just choose whatever evidence and see how he reacts. Okay. Hmm. That's a remarkable pin of yours, Mr. Galici. Does it have any meaning? The butterfly? It's a reminder of a time in which I was truly happy. What a coincidence. Oh. Lady Craven had a ring with the same design. They know each other. A coincidence indeed. <laughs> I suspect it is a common theme in jewelry. I guess I can't just go into the other room that easily. Can I investigate anything else here? Yep, looks like I can. Tools and accessories for masterful prestidigitation. Or or weapons and defenses against visitors from the great beyond. Hmm. I want to go back into the crime scene one more time just to see if I can find any sort of maybe skin traces underneath her hand. Oh, I've, it says I've already discovered everything here. Let's try putting together mind palace clues then. He can connect the moth ring and moth pin pretty easily. do anything? Nope. That's not a match at all. Okay, that matches what I think. Assuming from the situation. Lock can be easily picked. And... They were neighbors. 
All right, it's coming together, I think. I guess some of the clues return. Interesting. Because I remember using fresh scratches on Emma already. Oh, interesting. It's split in two. I can decide which one fits better. Honestly, giving everything I'm seeing so far, I'm going to go with a scratch, Luca. That leaves the question of the diamond here. I feel like the murderer left the diamond. And do I have enough to actually make a decision yet? It doesn't seem like it. So young and so dead. Another mystery to investigate, my friend. What else is in here? Oh! Dear sir, I have to inform you that the theft investigation continues. However, the ring has not yet been found. We had to free Elo DuPont, the server, the servant, as we were unable to find any evidence of his participation in the crime. We will inform you of any progress in this case. Wait, that same ring. That ring was also in here. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I guess it is just as likely that he finally caught her stealing all of the things in here, all the things in his possession, and then that's when he strangled her. Because honestly, just seeing her like this and being like, oh, I didn't even think that she was dead when I saw her like this. That is suspicious. Okay. I'm glad I did another once over of this location. Someone was not happy with his post. Someone was not happy with okay. his post. Anything else in here? Lord Craven, you promised me compensation for your gross misconduct in order to cover the cost of my treatment and quell the scandal. Yet I have not received a penny. You know that I lost my job after your false accusations. Now, even after my incidents has been proven, I can't return to work because of my hand injury. If you continue to ignore me, I shall be forced to appeal to the court. Oh, hand injury. Okay. Oh, shit. Lord Craven can't control his temper. Yeah, okay. It might actually it might actually be Lord Craven here. Hmm. Let me ask the medium about this letter about the scratches this is all just a big misunderstanding oh the spirits confirm it i can't ask him more questions <coughs> hmm okay hmm someone is making the most of his stay can you blame the man i'd say he's not ordering enough a familiar substance it's the ectoplasm that stained the seance table, but this time is enough for analysis. All right, time to analyze some shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, something's happening with my hair there. Weird. Okay. Chemical analysis. Oh boy. 
This is going to be interesting. I need to drag out two reagents. Drag out an operation. Link the reagents to an operation. Combine. Okay, let's see if I can actually figure this out. And then link the result to the target formula. This is complicated. <laughs> oh boy. Wait, is it that complicated? How do I... Oh, I have to link it using... by holding X? What is this? Okay. Let's see if I can figure this out by reading this again. Oh, I have to drag this up too. Oh, okay. This is some weird twine style <laughs> linking here. So I have to, I have to drag this to this this to this there we go okay that was a confusing explanation but I think I figured it out that's good the reaction shows that it is rubber latex mixed with phosphorus as much as this chemical element is dangerous to hold in the mouth I'm quite disappointed I expected to find something trickier my faith in this medium has burst, just like a rubber balloon. <laughs> All right, what's up with this, bud? Do you realize just how dangerous it is to hold phosphorus in the mouth? I beg your pardon? I'll bet it makes your rubber balloons glow impressively in the dark, but you'll regret it when the hypertension and vomiting sets in. You mock my talent, sir. You shouldn't be so flippant about things beyond your earthly understanding. How ignorant one must be to compare a spirit's ectoplasm with balloons. It was merely a word of caution. We both know how match factory workers look after several years on the job. Okay, so... This is all just a big misunderstanding. The spirits confirm it. He wasn't too interested in confirming my suspicions there. So if he has the ring, maybe she was working in concert with him? Do you recognize this ring? Should I? That's a third-rate piece if ever I've seen one. I'd never buy something like this. Did you ever see Miss Emma wearing it? No. And why should she? I gave her enough jewelry that she could wear a superior ring every day of the week. I doubt I can help with this. I doubt I can help with this. I doubt I can help with this. Hmm. Okay, so he that ring definitely wasn't something he recognized. But it was something that she kept. So she had a close connection with the medium. Hmm. Okay. I am needed elsewhere. 
There's other things I can show him, though. I doubt I can help with this. I found these jewels secreted away. Are you familiar with them? Ah, it cannot be so. That deceptive wagtail. How could she do this? That sounds like a yes. These items were supposedly stolen from us during our trip. I must have spent hours reporting it all to the police. And it turns out she had them all along. The trollop. I'd kill her myself were she not dead already. That's certainly a statement you could make. Do something about it, Holmes. I I did not do it. You know that. Sure, bud. Hmm. I mean, he could have known that Emma was a thief, that she was trying to frame him for her crime, which is why that he had the scratches. Hmm. I really don't know what to do, gang. I do not know. Yeah, I feel like, based on the evidence, there's still one clue that doesn't have hair, though, which is the thing that's tripping me up a bit. What was the thing about her not being able to use a knife, though? They made a point about that, unless that was complete nonsense, or at least a red herring in terms of an actual clue I could use. Is there a way I can get back to the letter I read earlier? Okay. I lost my job after your false accusations. I can't return to work because of my hand injury. Yeah, because if this game is anything like the Crimes and Punishments game, if I go into Mind Palace here, and I just move things around a bit, like if I say, scratches were left by servants, and Lord Craven caught Emma with the stone, it suddenly gives us different pieces of evidence. Though that's still not enough to convict him, so... I feel like there's one more piece of evidence here that might point towards Lord Craven as an option. And I want to just see if it's possible for me to find it just so that I can run through all of the possibilities in my head. Do something about it, Holmes. I I did not do it. You know that. I'm not sure where else I would look though, because I've already it feels like I've already torn this place apart. Someone was not happy with his pose. What else could I do? Oh, I can just straight up accuse I now if I go. want to. Huh. Hmm. Someone is making the most of his stay. Oh, I didn't even check this before. With your books, Mr. Galici? I do. In my line of work, one needs resources available to help deal with the unpredictable and unworldly. Bilge, balderdash, and baloney, the lot of them. 
You always take me to the best of places, Sherry. Okay, so... I guess... Checking the... Case full of books just didn't help either. Unless I find another piece of evidence, I'm just going to have to accuse this guy. And it'd be great to just clear everything up and make sure that I have everything I need before I do that. I feel like I've been through this room a number of times. Oh. Oh, that's just a crease. <laughs> I thought that was something like highlight it, but no, that's just the crease of a rug. <laughs> okay. I might be staring at this too closely. Yeah, okay. If anyone in chat wants to weigh in on whether I should just go ahead and accuse Luca of being the murderer, or whether I should, like, try and find the pair for this last clue right there. Just in case Lord Craven is the one. Let me know. Oh, right, I have a pinging button here. I've searched all of this. Yeah, I feel like I have it figured out now. But I'm not sure whether I should just get the last clue here just to make sure everything is tidy. So young and so dead. Another mystery to investigate, my friend. I guess I could go into the other room, try the pinging ability there, and see if that turns up anything else here. Whoa, what a breathtaking man. <laughs> Thanks, John. Okay, I really can't find this other pair, so I'm gonna go ahead and to go. accuse this guy, I think. Okay, so either we... Here's the other half of this, like I have to decide whether I should turn him into the cops or let him escape. So I'm basically deciding if I'm com if I'm condemning this man to death for killing her or if I'm helping him escape because he was constantly being framed by her. But yeah, he could also just have told the police what was going on and it would have been closed. Uh, that's the thing I love about these games. Like, it's not just you have to decide who's the more likely suspect by letting your reasoning attach to specific suspects. You need to be like, okay, am I going to let him go or am I going to turn him in? It did suck that he was basically mauled for not doing something that he, that others were claiming he was doing. 
And that made him unemployable as his normal role, so he had to become a medium. One who, given the evidence, I, I want to take back the bit where I was like, oh yeah, he's, um, he's clearly a criminal. He's clearly someone who is just... I feel like instead of being a criminal, he's just not making enough money to keep himself fed. I'm going to let him go, I think. Yeah, I'm going to let him go. Luca fought for his life. Given his checkered past, if he were arrested, nothing could save him from a death sentence. I will not stop him from fleeing to start a new life. All right, let's do it. Luca Galici, I know you murdered Lady Craven, and I can prove it. That would be a grand story for the newspapers. But where's your proof? I was locked in here and could not hurt a fly. Yes, yes, the lock room. Good of you to mention it. I inspected the door between the rooms, and the lock on it is piteous. You could open it with a penknife. So I am now a burglar, as well as a thief and a murderer? Your wrists are bloodied, and there's no way a servant's manhandling could cause such an injury. It was Lady Craven as you strangled her. You are... you are fantasizing, Mr. Holmes. As for the motive, it's obvious that you deduced that Lady Craven was the real thief. Of course, it helped that this was not your first encounter with Miss Emma. I am... I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. How on earth can you believe this? I think the police will easily find the proof when they browse their archive. It is done, Luca. You will be arrested. Your best strategy now is to confess and hope your reasons were justified. I... Uh, I... Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> nice. I don't know how you figured it out. But yes, I killed her. I had to. This woman could not get away with ruining my life twice. Twice? I knew Emma before she was a lady. I mean, she pretended to be noble back then too, but only so our gang, the Moths, could steal from those snobs. She betrayed us, stole all our money and disappeared, leaving us to rot in jail. I was young. I spent three years in that hell. And tonight, she tried to set you up again. Did she recognize you? She didn't. I came to her afterwards, pleading that she drop this farce, but she laughed in my face. I just remembered my time in the clink all I suffered while she indulged then I grabbed her throat I'll give you a chance you already suffered at Miss Emma's hands once I'm not convinced you deserve to suffer again I can't help but notice the window latch seems faulty perhaps I should leave you here alone and fetch someone I'm afraid it may take me some time. I... Oh. Thank you. Thank you. The police won't notice your disappearance immediately. Run, leave Cordona, and try to lead a decent life. I won't forget your kindness. I owe you everything, Mr. Holmes. Stop wasting time. Run. <laughs> oh, that's a helpful way to... Open the door, Mr. Galici. Don't make it worse. That's a helpful way to be like, oh, no, not a problem. Imbeciles, why are you dawdling? Step aside. Apparently it is time to visit the cemetery. As soon as it responds to my press button. Much fun, Sherry. There we go. I'm buzzing. Buzzing. Wasn't it fun? A woman died, John. I was too slow to the truth, too hesitant to intervene. What can you Oh, lighten up. Most people made their choices. If you swan about with a diamond in your pocket, that's what happens. Wealth is a weakness. So we must blame those who covet it. With enough money on the line, Sherlock, a man will do just about anything. Even murder. And then we get the solving. I 
I suspect you perhaps cannot grasp the true horrors of mortality, John. Oi, I am aware of my perilous existence, thank you very much. Mm. I must admit, even if the outcome of the adventure was imperfect, there was some pleasure to be had in the puzzle. Well, Cordona seems more depraved and decadent than we thought. I bet you'll get another chance. A bet, you say? A uh, figure of speech. Just a figure of speech. <sighs> Damn. Well, take one last look at the view. Then we must be off. It's time to do what we came here for. This is a pretty charming game so far. Like, it's rough around the edges, but I'm enjoying myself. Oh, wow. I didn't really dawn on me, but I have a full open world video game compass on the top of my screen. <laughs> okay. A free ride for every hotel visitor. Just tell me where to go. Take me to the graveyard. Don't feel up to it. I won't tell anyone. It's just a goodbye, John. It won't be difficult. I've already come to terms with my mother's passing. Hmm. So you really don't remember? To what do you refer? Funeral. Sherlock, you were distraught. At first, I thought this visit would dredge up those feelings, but you've been remarkably level. John, I think I was too young to understand. I couldn't fathom why she would leave me. Perhaps that pain is best left forgotten. On the contrary, it's why I'm visiting her grave. To remember her. Okay, I guess I need to go and find her grave then. If I just keep holding the sprint button, he gets faster and faster. Okay. Wait, no, he has stamina. Okay. I can't just walk up to someone in mourning and ask them questions because that would be pretty rude, but oh, I think our portrait friend was here. chain an objective marker just to figure out where I'm going, but... Hmm. Maybe if I figure out where John is... Oh, John's still over there. There's no jump button, sadly, so I can't just hop around my mother's gravesite, but that's okay. Oh, of course, I should be using the ping tool. Is that... 
That will at least point me in the right direction, maybe. If I stand over here and do it. Nope. Ask for your assistance. The money doesn't impress me. I guess I could ask one of the caretakers here. Do you know anything about this? Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else can help better, sir. Time to check your who, what, and what, Cherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? Okay, so I asked enough people about <laughs> my dead mother that John has now written about it being like, oh, what a weirdo. Drew up limp, though. I'm just curious. Maybe if I talk with John about this, I can reason out what I'm trying to remember. There we go. Mycroft was adamant that we leave for London immediately after the funeral. He never told me why, but I saw how unsettled he was by the long requiem. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. The service was sparsely attended though my parents were buried separately the pastor said they're united in heaven i didn't believe him even then this is an interesting sketchbook style they've got going i wanted to see her one last time before the coffin was interred and say how i loved her the chance never came i i feel i rather Faint. You're fine, you're fine. It's over now. He remembered everything. It will get easier soon. A pocket watch? Seems familiar, John. Why is it here? Huh. Rest in peace, Violet Hunt. Goodbye, Mother. This watch was a gift. My mother's initials are engraved on it. The piece is in good condition. It must have been placed here only recently. A candle in a small puddle of wax. It cannot have been lit for more than half an hour. Is this really how you want to spend this time? This is my mother's pocket watch, John. Uh, you, you can't even wine. visit your own you mom's grave without analyzing it. <laughs> okay. A bit bizarre. This is excessive, Sherlock. Can you not let the mystery be? Hi, Marinelle. Hope you're doing well tonight. I guess we need to go ask some people about who visited my mom's grave. Help me, please. The money doesn't impress me. Hmm. Don't mind me, sir. 
I'm just a loyal servant of my cross. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well overall. Like, I'm pretty happy with this game so far. And, uh... It's been nice to unwind with this after kind of a lousy day at work, but it's been whatever. Are you able to help me? Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else can help better, sir. Who else could we ask about this candle? Is this familiar to you? Your money doesn't impress me. Okay. This person might be helpful. Help me, please. Doesn't remind me oh. of anything. Nope. Someone else can help better, sir. You obviously haven't thought this all through. <laughs> or are you just annoying these people on purpose? Okay. Give it a rest. Unless Sherlock unlock or give it a rest, John. Let's see. Unless Sherlock changes tactics, we'll spend the next week seeking answers. There must be a better way to approach this. Maybe I could see if I can follow the- Oh! Okay, candle- There's footprints. That's probably more useful. A man in fashionable shoes stood near the tomb. The size of the prints suggests he is approximately five and a half feet tall. All right, and now we have a little trail to go by. You were about to tell me to make a model of Tyre, but let me assure you, <laughs> I do not care. Hmm. Well, that looks going to be very impressive. Come on then, the trail continues ahead. I love this John. He's very entertaining. <laughs> I wish I could sprint in this view. It was just left here? Okay. He mustn't be far away to leave it unattended. A portable easel was kept there. Oh, the artist guy. The hospital equipment, sir. If memory serves, they're located at the far end of the cemetery around an old tree. Yeah, the thing is, I'm not entirely sure if this is actually John, as in John Watson. It might be a different John, just because he appears to just appear out of thin air in various areas, be in rooms that he shouldn't already be in. I think this might be a different John than that John, but I'm waiting for I'm waiting for confirmation. At the very least, you'll enjoy the view. Yours, Mercurio. Anything else I can see on this bike? It's stained with oil paint. An artist working in a cemetery. Do you think he'd paint my portrait? Oh, what do you know? He is suddenly here now. Oh, it's that ridiculous artist from the hotel. Be nice, Sharon. Make friends. Mr. Holmes, did you come for another portrait? <laughs> no, no, I jest. You gave quite the performance last night. The hotel was abuzz with your name. Yeah, the idea that Sherlock has had various Johns in his life is a funny idea. Such scandal. It was a welcome distraction. Oh, my manners. I am Werner Vogel, art enthusiast and gallery proprietor. Mr. Vogel, I was perhaps too curt when last we spoke. Speak no more of it. Travel takes it out of any man. Never mind when this is your destination. Once I learned who you were, the pieces fell into place. Your mother was well liked on Cadona in her time here. I was sorry to hear of her passing. 
Does your gallery feature more than just portraiture? Oh, of course. We display landscapes, sculpture, modern pieces, too. I am sure we have something that will move you. You must stop by. Only music moves me, I'm afraid. Then you have simply not found your artist yet. Someone whose work hits you in your core. You're still young, Eddie. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find them. How did you come to possess my mother's pocket watch? Oh, my. It is quite something to witness those powers of deduction firsthand. Yes, I... I left you her timepiece. After her death, there was an estate sale. All of Cordona's elite picking of her remains. I couldn't let such a lovely thing go to those vultures. When I learned your name, I could no longer keep the watch in good conscience. It is yours by right, and I knew you'd find it here. Thank you. I'd forgotten all about it, but the moment I saw it, I knew it was hers. That can't be the only Amazing reason why mind he left it there. An older than recall. Rather odd, loitering in a cemetery. I suspect you'll win, but I'm here for my art. There's beauty everywhere if you look, even in decay. A little darkness brings out the light. Now. A diligent observer might note that you too were loitering in a cemetery. What brings you here? Closure, answers penance? Closure, I suppose. And what is closure? Mere proximity? Understanding. Acceptance. You didn't understand from afar. You had to come here to accept the truth of her death? Of course I understand. She died of consumption drowning in her own blood. Your mother? Yes, my mother. Hmm. I must have been misinformed. I'd heard otherwise. Otherwise than consumption? No, no, you'd know better than I. I'd heard talk of a police investigation, but Cordona is a notorious gossip. And what does it matter? She's passed on either way. She has. Well, I shall intrude no longer. I'll leave you to your closure. Do stop by the gallery if your travels permit. Farewell. Are you all right, Sherry? Take as long as you need. Hmm. Whatever I need, it isn't here. We should explore Cordona. Perhaps there are oh! archives that may show you um. life. <laughs> hey there, John. <laughs> How's it hanging up there? <laughs> oh, oh, buddy. Oh, are you, okay. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> I'll move a bit and hopefully you'll... Okay, you have not readjusted yet. Okay, so now it wants me to... Like... Maybe investigate... What the police have to say? I guess? What does this icon on my... Minimap mean? Oh, it's just for the cemetery. Wow, yeah, this this is a whole open world here. Okay. Yeah, sure's sure's a pretty nice nickname. May I ask you something? No one listens to us, so why should I listen to you, Oofbird? Oofbird is a new one. Okay, I guess I can just head to places to research things. Oh, I guess I can't go to these places because I haven't visited them yet. Is that how it works? Let's see what happens if I tell him to take me here. Oh, it doesn't take me there either. Where can I go? Oh, I guess anywhere that already has a marking on it. So maybe if I, maybe if I search around a bit, and get my bearings, I can start unlocking more places to go. I 
I'm going to get so lost in this game. It's clear that it's a pretty big map and that it doesn't exactly have fast travel points everywhere. I guess if I keep going this way, I'll eventually find my bearings again. Okay, I'm unlocking fast travel points as I visit. That's fair. Oh, sorry there. <laughs> oh, that was a really loud noise when I ran into her. Okay. Oh, they don't... They do not like me running into them, which understandable. This game is also coming out on consoles. Right now they're just sticking with next gen, but then they're planning on coming up their stuff later. Which is why I assume it's not running super well on this PC. It's running okay, but not as well as games in years past have. Okay. Murder on the loose? And I guess I can just read that, uh... Consequences. Investigation was in initiated by Sherlock Holmes. Stab locked the spiritualist in the hotel room, but the man escaped. Okay. I also have this, which I'm not sure if that's a... Oh, I can snap photos. I'm not sure if they're saving to my screenshot folder or anything, but I guess I have that ability. Hmm. Anyway, time to keep jogging over to the news station. To the newsroom. <laughs> Send me the map will load. There. Okay. It's close. Alright, we're in. Stop the presses. Who is Cordona's handsome stranger? Or nosebagger spurned local life? Wait, uh, no. Scottish foreigner hides dark past. I know. <laughs> oh, you've made quite the impression already, Mr. Holmes. You care to tell your side of the story? I'm quite certain I have no idea as to what you refer, and I am further certain I have no interest in indulging your gossip. Gossip? The truth will come out, but will only be heard if told well. Scandal, daring do, romance. These are the tools of every good journalist. Nothing travels faster or lasts longer than a great story. Young man, your tale will be told with or without you. My readers demand it. You already knew my name and seem aware of my doings here in Cordona. I presume this newspaper is your little endeavor? Yasmin Sertel, editor-in-chief of the Cordona Chronicle. Advocate of the free press, voice of the people, scourge of the silk stockings. Charmed, I'm sure. As an advocate of the free press, I trust you'll permit me to consult your archives? There are gaps in my knowledge of Cordona. Oh, so my work does have merit. Well, I think we can strike a bargain. I shall provide you access, and you let me keep writing about your exploits. I like her. So be it. Brooding bachelor builds bridges. Now that's character development. I guess I owe you my gratitude. What can I say? I've always enjoyed working with the Holmes. They whisper such interesting things. Okay. Do I just go back here and start rifling through things? Can I ask you a question? I usually have an answer for everything, but not for this. I'll be right here. Okay. Just stay on the ground this time, okay? 
I'm watching you closely, Mr. Holman. How do I actually look for the archives? Hmm. Can I ask you a question? Ex excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know. Maybe back here. Oh, there we go. I had to look at the desk. That's the thing. Okay. Crime Saray. Ten years ago. was obituaries. Okay, that wasn't the right thing. Okay, this method isn't producing much information. Current events, maybe? <sighs> Rather crude, brute force way I'm doing it, but that's okay. Old archives. I think I'm barking up the wrong tree. I might have to... Oh, new entry in John's diary. He is not going to be happy with me. I just helped a woman deliver her baby, a little girl. When I returned, Sherlock was exactly where I left him, struggling in archives. So he just constantly... Okay, there's repeat entries of him cracking the exact same joke so I think this this game just teases you when you're not doing well in something <laughs> yep I have an, a mind palace in here okay the game just straight up says my imaginary friend John if I check the mind palace John has been my friend since childhood I cannot remember a time without him he cannot accept that only I can see him Okay, we have to go check the police archives instead. I should have started there first because it said police investigation, but uh, no time like the present for correcting that mistake. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Just running into everyone and seeing how they react. Just a lot of disgruntled British people going, oh, oh, my word. Alright, you gonna let me in and do some investigating? I can't imagine the police will be more cooperative than the newspaper, but we'll see. Stark do this, Stark do that. I'm not a clerk, damn it. How am I supposed to get those records now? Yes? What is it? Would you like to report a crime? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I want to use the police archives. Wouldn't we all? I'm serious. So am I. Officer Logan locked himself inside and he's not letting anyone in. But why the archives? Won't that stall everyone's work? You bet it will. 
He's looking up all the thieves in Cordona over the past decade. Say one thing for Logan. He's persistent. What happened exactly? A tailor rest from Scaladio has been robbed. Logan spent two whole days at the shop sketching the thief, and she still insists that it's all wrong. That shrew drove him up the wall, she did. Would you mind if I talk to this tailoress? I could get you the sketch in no time. Get off your high horse, mister. <laughs> you think you're better than our sketch artist? Actually, I'm quite certain that wow. I am. Let me prove it. Well, I see no harm in it, as long as it gets Logan out of there. In fact, I need to look up some records too. Here's the address. Good luck. Okay, guess I have to bug a sketch artist now. Gonna get me a mark for where that sketch artist is. Let's see. I'm looking for the mark that person said they put on my thing, but I can't find it. Oh, place on map, of course. Wait, no, that doesn't... Okay. I need to find Knight's Road and Trinity Way. Scaladio. Okay, so right over there, if my terrible map directions turn out to be okay this time, I have a terrible sense of direction. I could not get through more than 15 minutes of Metroid 2 because it was so confusing, or at least the original Game Boy version. Can you satisfy my curiosity? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. Is it not located here? Oh, there we go. That's the store name. <laughs> I'm pleased to meet you, ma'am. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm here to sketch the thief for the police investigation. Oh, another one. I hope you'll be more patient than the previous sketches, signore. Can you describe the thief for me? He was all ugly and beat up looking, an utter rascal if ever I'd seen one. He gave me a nasty look from behind his glasses and then made himself scarce. And... That's it? Could you be more specific? He was a total villain, I told you. <laughs> How much more specific do you want me to be? All oh right, boy. Never mind. I suggest we do it differently. You have a great many clothes here, haven't you? Why, of course, but they're not for sale. I only do tailoring and mending. No matter. I'll attempt to disguise myself as the thief, and you'll tell oh. me if I get it right. Sherlock Holmes dress-up game. <laughs> Let's get Where to it. Find the clothes? They're in my workshop at the back. Uh, be careful, won't you? Okay. I'm picking up all these wardrobe items so that I can attempt to dress as them. Okay. Let's play Sherlock dress up then. Criminal cheek. <laughs> okay. Let's try that. 
the worst suit in the game. Just awful. <laughs> okay, game. <laughs> Let's see. Let's put on a bowler hat. What's on your head? Oh, God, these puns. Square glasses. Yeah, let's wear sideburns. Big bruises. Okay, let's see how that works. Your face is too innocent now. What do you mean, too innocent? There was something evil about his face. Like a mustache. <laughs> yes. You heard it from here. All villains twirl as they plot their evil plans. I'd say that not all villains wear mustaches, but I get your point, Mom. Okay, evil mustache then. Let's try that. <laughs> I have to go back into the back room to do this. Alright, let's put on a mustache. Was wrong. He was dressed in a very fancy beige suit. Must have stolen it from someone. No doubt about it. All right, I've got it. All right, let's try switching to a suit instead. Ugly beige suit. What do you think now? Ah, it's you. Okay. I mean, got in two. It's him. Well, got in three technically. Excellent. Now I can make a sketch and take it to the police. Yes, sir. Please do. That rascal is still on the loose. I hope they are better at catching than sketching. Before I go, Mom, are you quite certain that you don't have any clothes to sell? Well, I suppose you can take the police uniform. An officer forgot it here years ago, and I don't have any use for it. If you want to buy clothes, visit the outfitters. You can find them all over Codona. I hear they even do free rentals now. Let me oh, hey, Cat. You the hope you're doing well. Thank you very much. I guess the um, Streamlabs briefly didn't show the message just because it was showing in a different way. But I hope you're doing well, Cat. Is this familiar to you? Nothing I can tell you, sir, but others might know more. Okay, do I have to go back to the... I guess I have to go back to... The police person, I'm guessing? See me, I can find my way back to the... Oh, the station is literally right there, of course. Again, officer, I've spoken to the tailoress and made a sketch of the thief. It was child's play. No, really? And she didn't give you any trouble? No, no trouble at all. She was quite tolerable. Huh. Who would have thought? Hey, Logan, we've got the sketch. Come on out. Can I use the archives now? Well, they're generally not accessible to the public. But you really helped us out, so I'll just turn a blind eye. I appreciate it, officer. Sweet. Holmes, I say we Come see me after you're done. I may have a proposition hmm. for you, Mr. Holmes. I say we try and find the information in the paper and then talk to that guy. Assuming we can figure out exactly where the archives are. Oh, archive, of course. Okay. Violent crimes. Grand Saray. Victims. 
There we go. All I found in the archive was an empty folder labeled thusly, Case of Violet Holmes, April 9th, 1869, Stonewood Manor, Grand Saray. There are no documents inside at all. It seems that there really was a police investigation, yet all of the case files are missing. Oh, pre-rendered cutscene time. Oh, that is an effect. John, I just recalled that we were living here on Cordona <laughs> in a mountain. Hey, John. And there was a policeman. Really? What else do you remember? What happened to our mother? Memory was vague, a, a mere flash. We have to find our house. Absolutely. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk to the police captain here, and then we'll call I'm for the night. I'm done with the archives for now. Can I help you with anything else? As a matter of fact, you can. The thing is, our chief inspector has vanished, as if we weren't undermanned enough as it is. Wait, what do you mean, vanished? Gone missing on a case. Shady business, but that's besides the point. See that board? Pending cases are posted there for any available officers to investigate. I would take them myself, except that I've been told to oh, work the Oh, side quests. Yet. <laughs> yes, we're that short-handed. I understand your predicament, but what does any of it have to do with me? I may be available, but I'm certainly not an officer. Oh, don't worry about it. Consider yourself a temporary one-man independent police force. That's a bit of a mouthful. There's just one small, minor, basic formality. You'll need to complete our physical training course. Easy. Training well, course. I want to walk at a spot of exercise. What must I do? Ask the spirit. Sergeant Ermy will show you the ropes. Follow me. Oh, I guess we'll do. Can I? I guess we'll save here and then. So I'm definitely going to come back to this game because I am enjoying playing it on stream. I am enjoying it in general. And uh, yeah. I don't know exactly when I'll come back to it, but I'm pretty sure I'll try and come back to it later this week, if not next week. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to quit out for now. But, uh, yeah, you can definitely count on me playing more of this soon, because, wow, this is, this is better than I was expecting it to be. Like, I already like Funkwares games, and I was expecting to have fun with this, but... Yeah, this is this is a pretty good adventure game so far, and I'm eager to see more of it. And uh, thank you for joining me, everyone. And hopefully you'll be back with me once we, whenever we resume this. Yeah, this menu screen is a lot. <laughs> but yeah, thanks everyone. I'll talk to you later. Oh, how do I raid in... I don't see a raid button in Streamlabs, but uh, I'll work on figuring that out for next time. So, catch you later. <laughs>